Hi everyone, I'm Skylar, but you can call me Sky. Please like and subscribe. The buttons are down here. Growing up, I was introduced to literally every kind of music there is. You see, my parents loved music, and Dad used to be in a band in high school. He worked as a producer and even owned a record label. That wasn't all. Dad was even a judge for a singing competition. Yeah, like Simon Cowell. Mom, on the other hand, was a supermodel. They both loved the fans and paparazzi. Hey, you guys. Oh, here. Oh, honey, you're hilarious. Skylar, smile towards this camera. But unlike them, I was scared of the media. That's why I chose to play an instrument so I would stay behind the cameras. Once when I was 10, my parents took me to an after party with them. I held onto mom's hand and we made our way through the crowd of photographers. And before I knew it, I was pushed and fell to the ground. Mom, I'm here. Skylar, honey, oh my God, are you okay? What is the matter with all of you? She's just a child. Back away, now. Dad was so pissed that he grabbed a camera that was right in his face and smashed it on the ground. We are going home, now. The next day, the news was filled with videos of Dad from the previous night. If you thought that stopped the paparazzi, you're wrong. They even snapped pictures of me when I had no clue they were around. Like once I was walking with my parents, trying to enter a restaurant when I slipped. The video went viral and people made memes for days. One meme was of me falling and Spider-Man catching me. Another one was a meme with Doctor Strange. Ugh, this made my life in school a living hell, especially because of Daniel. The guy was a grade A jerk. What the hell is your problem, Daniel? What? I just wanted to show the world my talent. That's not talent. My dog could draw better than you. You need to get a life and stay out of mine. I did not have many friends, and the ones who were always around me wanted some favor from me. And with these memes, my life at school just got harder. Until I met a really nice guy when I was 15 and we started dating. One time, I invited him over to my house, but I realized that was a mistake. Oh my god, sir, I'm a huge fan. Is that Drake standing next to you? You have to let me meet him one day. Skylar, psst, ask your dad, please. Ah. He was just like everyone else. I so hated living like this. So I begged my parents to let me transfer schools, but they told me to suck it up and get done with high school here. So I focused on perfecting the cello and that made mom mad because according to her, I was destined for fame. Skylar, your face is meant to be in front of a camera. Ever heard of a cellist dating a hot model? No, but singers, they date hot people all the time. It's high time you find yourself an awesome boyfriend. Forget it, mom, not interested. But mom, being mom, didn't let go of it and started setting me up on dates with other celebrity children. Most of them had their heads in the cloud and treated other people badly. I never wanted to be seen around with people like that. When I was 17, I got accepted into Juilliard, the biggest school for music and arts, and I was over the moon. I soon became friends with a few people and I was amazed by how talented they were. One day, I reached the campus early to explore. And right before I could get to class, I rushed to the washroom closest to me. Once I was done, I saw a familiar looking guy staring at me. It was Daniel. Daniel, what are you doing here? And why are you in the girl's washroom, you creep? Oh, Skylar, hi. This is the guy's washroom, right? I felt my eyes pop out of my skull. I ran away like a rocket. I hoped I wouldn't see Daniel for the rest of the day, but there he was, right in front of me during lunch, being swarmed by girls. What the hell? Turns out, Daniel was the best flute player on the entire campus and was quite popular. One day, Daniel and I bumped into each other right before class. Oh, I am so sorry. Um, speaking of sorry, I actually wanted to apologize for how I acted back in high school. That was very childish of me. I hope you can forgive me for it. It sure was. Fine. Only if you swear to keep the washroom incident a secret. <laughs> okay. Deal. Friends? Slowly, Daniel and I started hanging out every day. And it turns out, he was a really nice guy. He even began coming over to my house often. But Mom was not happy about it. Oh, please don't tell me you have a crush on this Daniel guy. Gosh, he's just a flute player. So uninspiring. What? Mom, 
He's just my friend, and there's nothing wrong with being a flute player. Oh, thank God. So, I'm setting you up on a date with this really hot singer. Actually, a masked singer. What's his name? Uh, Sean Smith? Stan? OMG, that masked singer? Mom, I'm a fan. No, a huge fan. Perfect. Then you won't mind at all going out with him. Skylar, we need to have him sign to your dad's company. It'll be your job to convince him. Wait a minute. Are you trying to use me to get to him and expect me to lie to him? What is wrong with you? Dad, can you believe this nonsense? Sky, we won't ask you for something you can't do. This will really help out with the business. Think about it, please. Even though I didn't want to, Mom and Dad convinced me after a lot of waterworks. I wanted to tell Daniel everything, but thinking of how he'd react, I just kept it to myself. I wanted him to like me. On his birthday, I decided to get him a gift I knew he would love. It was a customized pin of a flute with his initials on it. Thank you so much, Sky. I love this. I'm going to wear this every day. And he did. You're such a dork, Dan. It doesn't even match your outfit. Well, it means a lot to me because you gave it to me. It's like I have you with me. Always. I kind of have a confession to make. I really, really like you, Skylar. Ha ha, very funny. I know you're just pulling my leg. I'm being very, very serious. I like you too, I think. I want to be sure. Saying that, we kissed, and I couldn't be more sure that I liked him. For the next few days, I couldn't wait to see Dan every morning, until Mom informed me about the upcoming planned date with Stan. I wanted to refuse, but once again, Mom and Dad literally begged me. Fine, one date, and then I'm done with this stupid plan. As I walked into the restaurant, I spotted Stan sitting with his mask on. The minute he saw me, his eyes went wide, and so did mine. I had never seen such beautiful blue-gray eyes before. Uh, hi, Stan. I'm Skylar. It's nice to finally meet you. He just nodded and shook my hand. I spoke for most of the time, and when our food arrived, Stan took off his mask and my jaw hit the ground. He had a lip piercing, and he was breathtaking. I almost drooled. Get a hold of yourself, Skylar. It's just a lip piercing. And oh my god, is that an eyebrow piercing? He's just so hot. Stop it, Skylar. Stop fangirling. Are you all right? Your face is kind of twitching in the drool. Oh, sorry. I'm just excited to eat. This is my favorite food. I was a nervous wreck in front of Stan, and I was pretty sure he'd think I was a crazy fan. But later that night, Stan texted me to meet again for another date. Whoa, another date with my idol. My life was going amazing. Daniel was being a sweetheart at school, and my feelings towards him just got stronger. On the other hand, Stan was getting closer to me, and pretty soon, I would get him to sign to Dad's company. Then I could finally be with Daniel. One time, Daniel took me to the park for a cute little picnic. This is beautiful, Dan. Not as beautiful as you. Oh, stop it. I can't believe how cheesy you are. If I knew this earlier, I wouldn't have said yes to being your girlfriend. Ouch. Maybe you like guys like that singer Stan, then. What? What makes you think of that? Oh, I saw a picture of you both at a restaurant on Twitter. Oh, uh, that? That was nothing. We were waiting for my mom and dad. Turns out, mom's friend is Stan's mom. Ugh, oh, that was close. I feel bad for lying to Daniel. I should tell him the truth. My dates with Stan, on the other hand, were going smoothly. He showered me with gifts, and I felt extremely guilty. No, no, I, I can't take this. It's too much. Aw, oh, come on. It's nothing. I want you to have it. We are dating after all, and you're my girlfriend. I want the world to know it. I didn't agree with him, but just nodded and plastered a smile on my face. Dating both Dan and Stan was taking a toll on me. Like once when I was on a date with Dan, I got a call from Stan. It's my mom. I'll just be back in a minute. Stan, please text me before calling. Uh, why? I can call you anytime. I'm your boyfriend, remember? Ugh, this guy. It's because I might be busy, and also, I prefer texts over calls. I get extremely awkward. I lied. I talked to Dan for hours over phone calls. When I got back to Dan, he looked a little upset. After asking him several times, he finally spoke. Why'd you lie about your mom calling you? 
What? I saw the caller ID before you answered, Skye. It was Stan. Is something going on? I'm sorry I lied about it being my mom, but after the whole Twitter picture thing, I didn't want you to doubt me. I trust you, Skye, but when you lie, I begin to doubt a little. Just... I promise I won't lie next time. Trust me. I hated lying to Dan, but what choice did I have? But one day, my lies came back to bite me in the butt when both Dan and Stan invited me on a date on the same day. Even though I tried to get out of the situation, I couldn't. Stan was leaving for a music tour while Dan had to fly to his grandma's place. This is it. This is the end of Skylar. I tried to rush through my dinner with Dan and tried to behave as normal as possible, but I wasn't very good at it. Sky, are you okay? Yeah, why? You keep looking at your phone and your leg won't stop shaking? You're literally shaking the entire table. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just, I have to meet my mom later and I have to leave soon. Okay. You know what? I'll drop you there so you don't have to worry. No, no, you don't have to. I'll go there myself. It took a lot of tries, but I was able to convince Dan to let me go by myself. Phew. I rushed out of the restaurant, and while I was on my way, I got a text from Stan telling me he was going to be late. Couldn't he have told me sooner? I could have had dinner with Dan without being so anxious. Once I reached the location, I noticed a path of rose petals was made leading to a table. It looks like a scene from a romantic movie. Do you like it? Oh my god, Stan, you scared me. Yeah, that's really pretty. But what if someone sees you here? No one will. I booked this entire part of the beach. No one will come this way. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> Only for you. Stan was being so sweet and so kind, and the guilt was killing me. I knew I had to come clean. I couldn't do this to Dan and Stan. They're both nice people. Stan, I need to tell you something. It's really important. I should have told you sooner. Is it about how you're dating someone else as well? What was his name? Uh, Daniel? Before I could say anything else, Stan placed a flute pin in front of me. It was the one I gave Dan. When I looked up, I saw Stan take off his lip and eyebrow piercings and lenses, and he removed the makeup. Daniel? Shocked that I'm Stan or that I'm Daniel? Wait, what's happening? What's happening is, you turned out to be someone I didn't think you were. You were dating two people, even though it was just me, but still. No, I, I can explain. Look, I, I... Explained how you betrayed me? All for what? A contract with your dad? You'd be happy to know I signed it. So I hope it was all worth it. Saying that, Dan stormed off and I stood there extremely shocked. The next few days, Dan didn't show up at school and every time I tried to contact him, he blocked me out. Dan, you have to remember you're a celebrity too, and not being seen out for this long will just start rumors. I know, but I can't bring myself to go out. I miss her. It's been a week, man. But as Stan's manager, I have to make sure there are no nasty rumors. So, I set you up on a couple of dates with a few girls. This is the only way I can get you off this couch and get some publicity for Stan. Seeing the pictures of Dan and the TikToker made me a little sad, especially because Dan was still not talking to me. And then I had the best plan ever. For our date, I was dressed to impress with gray colored extensions for my hair and got a cake of makeup smacked on my face, just so that Dan wouldn't recognize me. Oh, hello, Stan. Big fan of your work. Uh, hi. So what country are you from, Annabelle? Oh, I am uh, uh, coming from Italy. I have been living there for the past uh, two years. Uh, shall we order then? Okay. I'll have the Caesar salad, please. Same for me, too. But no peanuts in one, please. Uh, no peanuts in mine as well. Are you allergic to peanuts? Oh, no. I just don't like it. I'm guessing you are. Yeah, but not everybody knows that. Right when the waiter took the menu from us, he accidentally spilled the glass of juice and it fell on my dress. Oh no, ma'am, I am so... Oh no, it was my fault. Uh, don't worry about it. Wow, you're pretty forgiving. Everyone makes mistakes and deserves a second chance. I guess my words really, really impressed Stan. 
and in a second he gripped my hand and kissed it. For the rest of the evening, he looked at me like some lovesick puppy. He invited me to his yacht, booked a flight to Paris for me, and even gave me an autograph on my arm. Like, he never did these things with the real me. Ugh, he was over me so fast. I have to go. I'm late for my, um, beauty treatments. You know how we models need to look uh, perfect all the time? Bye. But you're already perfect, Skylar. I felt my hands and my feet get cold when he said my name. He knew. Ah, you knew? OMG, all this time you were playing with me? Well, now I know how it feels when someone falls for the fake you instead of the real you. Skylar, I missed you. Oh, Dan, I missed you too. I am so sorry. I really... All's forgiven. Come here. <laughs>